Hello YouTube stackers, this is ST with Silver Stacking 101, where we always believe in staying stacked and packed. Stack with silver, gold, food, ammo, and pack with the means necessary to defend our stack. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to post a video. I have been involved in a massive forensic investigation. Normally I can't even acknowledge such, but this situation is somewhat unique because I do not have confidentiality. I'm still not going to get on YouTube and give details even though I really, really want to tell you guys what I found in the past few weeks. But I have to give an opportunity for the appropriate investigative agencies to finish their work and it be adjudicated, which is going to take a couple years to go through adjudication at best, maybe three years. But eventually I'm going to be able to get on YouTube and do an entire series about what I've been doing in my, the past few weeks. What I want to talk about today is the Iranian situation and its effect on the silver price. Recently, silver has enjoyed a bump in its price. Some of that bump can be directly attributed to the Iranian situation. At this point, all indicators are showing that the Iranian situation will intensify. I hope not. I hope cooler heads will prevail. I don't like military action. A friend of mine who is a highly decorated fighter pilot, graduate of Annapolis, was given a talk to some group of people I belong to. And he ended by saying, avoid war. It's got to be your last option. But when it comes, when you have to use that last option, fight to win. I believe that. Now at this point, as the situation intensifies, look for a bigger bump in silver prices. Quite often in situations such as this, there's no justification for the bump. Any Iranian conflict will be short-lived at best. It will be contained within Iran. They don't have any uh, friends that's going to come to their aid and risk a confrontation with us. Iran has a, on paper a pretty formidable military. However, the way it's set up is right in the wheelhouse for our military to deal with. Their command and control will be severely interrupted within the first 15 minutes of a conflict. Within two hours, it was ceased to functionally exist. Within the first 24 hours, anything they got of any size that floats will be sent to the bottom. Within the first 24 hours, we will achieve total air dominance. Then any troop formations they try to amass will be carpet bombed by B-52s at that point. It's a very simple situation. The media is trying to build it up like this is going to be World War III. This is going to be a long weekend exercise, particularly if we don't have any desire to occupy the country. We are, are hopefully, our goal is going to be to deny the Iranian regime the ability to wage offensive action. That should be easily accomplished by our military. Our military is really good at for situations like this. No standing nation states good at guerrilla warfare with a significant portion of the indigenous population that are hostile. But something like this, this is right in our wheelhouse. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a big deal because people are going to die on both sides. Um, most Iranians are not our enemies. They're just people wanting to go get by in life and do the best they can. These troops that are going to be attacked by us are not necessarily bad folk. They're just in a, born into a situation maybe they don't have a choice to be where they're going to be. Uh, they're somebody's son, brother, daughter, what, what not. I don't know if Iran has women in the military, but there's somebody's brother, son, father and they're not necessarily bad people the regime's a bad regime and it's got to go or at least uh, lose its ability to maintain hostile action on offensive nature 
if you watch my channel for any length of time, I'm not a warmonger by any stretch of the imagination. I was very critical of President Trump when we shot missiles into Syria, but this situation is going to probably going to have to happen. And when it happens, silver's going to go way up to a point I will most likely stop buying because when the situation passes, it will return down to its normal trading range. So don't get caught up in this bump that's happening. It's not going to be long term. It will not be sustained past this uh, crisis. I guess we'll call it a crisis. We're going we're looking at a shooting war. That's kind of a crisis. But after it passes, and it will pass, there's not going to be any long-term ramifications on our money supply. Our gasoline may go up in the meantime. That's okay. Our economy is strong enough to absorb it. We're good to go there. So the point of this video is be careful about buying big amounts of silver into a price bump because it will readjust back down. Let me know what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know what you think and why you think it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video to somebody. God bless you. And remember, stay stat and pat because we are going to need it. Thank you.